right, let's look at constructions of a rotation. Now, this one of the group is definitely the more involved, but is, I think, the coolest because of that. But we're going to construct a rotation of 165 degrees about 0. 0.0. So here's 0. 0.0. Here's triangle ABC. 165 is in a clock uh, counterclockwise direction because it's positive, so it's going to go this way. So here's uh, how I go about doing it. First of all, all points move along an arc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark uh, from O to C, and then I'm going to create its arc. In other words, I know the point C has to move along that 165 degrees. B as well will have to move 165 degrees along its arc. So I also create a nice path for it. Now I only go about halfway around because I'm only going 165. So I only need, you know, about a 180 degree arc there to work with. And then A... Uh, I'm going to put my mark point on O and on A. And again, create about a 180 degree arc. So what this is represents the paths that each of these are going to take. Because we know by the characteristics that OA and OA prime will be equal and OB and OB prime will be equal. That's because they are on the arc and the radii of this circle stays the same. Now, the next thing is to create the rotation of 165. So to do that, we're going to create an angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create kind of an imaginary one side of my angle, O to C. And now I want to rotate that 165 degrees. So I'm going to put down my protract. Now let's learn how to read a protractor a little bit here. And what I want you to know is sometimes the zero is on the inside, sometimes the zero is on the outside. But if you are on your initial arm and you're creating an angle, always start at zero. Doesn't that make sense? Zero all the way up to 165, way over here somewhere. And what I do is I put a little tick mark where 165 is. Then I lift up and I create the other, the terminal arm, of the 165 angle. There it is. Now, there's a lot going on here, so we're like, well, wait a minute. But where does it go? Now, C, of course, is the middle arc, and so C prime will be right there at 165 degrees. Now, we just need to do that three times. Let's do that with B now. So let's create an initial arm for B of our angle. It's got to go 100, oops, well, a little bump there. It's got to go 165 as well. So I'm going to place down, let's place it down on the other way, just so you can see what happens sometimes. So sometimes, take a look what happens. Uh, this time, my, my protractor was placed down in a different way, and notice the 180s on the outside. But this is my initial arm. And so I'm going to start in the inside this time, counting from zero. You always start from zero and count up. And so there it is, 165. And I make a little mark. And I finish by creating the angle through that. So I create my angle from BO to B prime. And it's on the outside ring because, on the outside arc, because that is our angle, uh, B, O, B prime. Now we've got one more to go. We're almost done. To see why this one's a little more involved, there's quite a few steps here. You, uh, you have to create these little angles. That's the whole idea of a rotation, though, is to use angles. Uh, so let's put it down. Count 0 through 165, way over here somewhere. Oops. And then I'm going to draw my, my angle. And sure enough, it hits right here, A prime. Now, in theory, I should be able to connect the three images. 
and I should get an identical copy of my triangle. Do I just have a good idea how to test this? So there it is. I don't know. What do you think? Does it look pretty good? I'll show you how to test it. Ooh, I love my patty paper. So let's uh, let's do a quick copy of the original. Oops, that wasn't very good, but we get the idea. There's B. Here's our C. Here's our A. Check this out. Pin it at O, and watch it go. Oh, I want to shade it because that'll be much better when it comes around the corner. Ready? Here we go. Bonk. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm amazing. Beautiful. 165 degrees. All right. The next one says, do it by patty paper. Thank you. That was just well, way too long. So, here's what we got to do to do it by patty paper. We still need our, our angle. Oh, wait. This is negative 70. Good practice on this. So, things are going to move in a in a clockwise manner, 70. So I'm going to put this guy down. My initial arm will move here to 70. And I'm just going to create an angle of 70 degrees. Negative 70, by the way. Now watch how easy this is. And this is why we love patty paper. Um, I'm going to mark my center. I'm going to mark A. Mark B and mark C. Now I am going to follow C until because the angle that I made is from C. So C prime will be the 70 degrees over here. So again, I'm going to pin this and rotate till I land on that 70 degrees right there. Now this is the case where it might be tricky to find these points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pointer from my compass and I'm going to poke a hole. And uh, hopefully my eyes will be good enough to see those holes. I'm not quite as good with uh, the eyesight as I once was. Mm, that's kind of tricky for me to see. But let me just see if I can uh, do that again and I can maybe lift up my paper and mark them in. A, and this is one of the downsides. Again, if I had a, a better way to poke through, I would. Let me see if maybe marking those will show up a little bit. Ah, that kind of works, actually. Now, using my felt pen, that's pretty good, actually. These are the tricks of the trade. I like to use these fine-tipped felt markers, and they actually go through nicely. I don't know. Let's see how I did, actually. Uh, let's see if using that technique was very effective or not. So I'm going to pin it, turn it. Let's see if I found it. Yeah, I did. Good job. Well done. Now the last thing is to find the O, oh, the center of rotation. This is actually a fun little task as well. This is working backwards through the process, which I think is always good to do. So we have to say to ourselves, where is the center? And how did, you know, how does the center uh, come about? And of course, what we're going to do is we are going to do um, <clears throat> everything moves. Let's go back to here. Everything moves upon an arc. And, um, and so there is a distance that's between them. The, the perpendicular bisector will help us with. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to connect A and A prime. Those two have to move along the edge of a circle. And so the center of that circle has got to be the same distance from A as, as, as well from A prime. And so we're going to do a perpendicular bisector. So again, this is the same as our midpoint construction. I'm going to create perpendicular bisector. Now this line represents all points that are the same distance from A and A prime, which is important. But I don't know 
like is the center there to there, but it's got to be the same center to that can go through B and B prime and C and C prime. So let's create a second perpendicular bisector. Let's say the one from C to C prime. This would tell us the line that represents all points that are the same distance from C and C prime. So I'm going to do the same construction. I'm going to do the perpendicular bisector here and draw in that line. Aha! Now, right where they meet is that magical point. Now, why is that the answer? Well, the perpendicular bisector gave me all points that were the same distance from A and A prime. But I also needed a point that was the same distance from C and C prime. So I did two perpendicular bisectors, and they found the center. Now I can see I'm out a little bit here, so I might not be exact, but I should be able to place uh, my pointer on the center and on A, and I should be able to make my arc, and it should go through A and A prime, which it did. That's pretty good. I should be able to mark C and C prime, which... See, I'm out a little bit there. I knew I had made a little bit of a mistake, but I should, but basically I should uh, be able to go through B and B prime as well. So the key is two perpendicular bisectors form the intersection, which is the center of rotation.